What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I'm going to tell you how buying a manufactured home may just allow you to retire sooner than you think. I deal with a lot of people who are getting close to the age of retirement and to prepare, they're transitioning their lifestyle because their needs have changed. What I've noticed is a strategy people are using to shave off two, three, even five years off the tail end of their career. And I'm going to share it with you because if it's working for them, maybe it can work for you. If you're around the age of 55 to 60 and just simply can't imagine grinding it out for another five to 10 years before you accept your silver watch and ride off into the sunset, this one's for you. What I've noticed is people are downsizing before the age of retirement because they're realizing they just don't need the space anymore. The house they've lived in for the last 10, 15, 20 years while their kids were at home worked then, but now it's just empty space to clean. No, downsizing isn't a new concept and I'm not sitting here pretending like I invented it. But what I think some people might be missing is the manufactured home aspect of it because what you get when you downsize into a manufactured home instead of a condo is you still get the yard, you still have your own driveway, you can have a garden, you can have a shed, and you don't share any walls with anyone. So there are a lot of benefits. So what people will do to bridge the gap between where they are now and the retirement is they'll sell the home they've been living in and buy a manufactured home, which 10 years ago would have been too small, but for the lifestyle that they wanna live now, it's perfect. I've dealt with people who apply this strategy over the years and they actually just do leave their jobs years sooner. One couple I dealt with actually even ended up spending their winters in Mexico because of the extra money they had from selling their home and moving into a manufactured home and that in combination with their old home just had way more maintenance, so they had to stick around for the winter. Not the case in a manufactured home. So let's throw a few numbers around and look at how moving into a manufactured home could fast track your retirement. Before I get into the numbers, what you have to understand is I live in a fairly expensive market. Whenever I say the price of anything, I always seem to get a comment that says, nice home, but I wouldn't pay more than, and then they say a number that's way less than the home is worth in my area. Now, don't get caught up on the price. What you wanna worry about is the spread between a manufactured home and a site-built home. So if site-built homes in your area cost less than they do in my area, it doesn't matter. What matters is that in both areas, generally the price of a manufactured home is gonna be a lot less than the price of a site-built home. And that's what we wanna key in on. I'm gonna use round numbers from my area because it's what I know. Apply the same concept to your area and it's gonna have the same effect just with different numbers. The concept is very simple. What people do is they sell the home that they've lived in for 10, 15, 20 years. In my area, it might be worth 450,000 and they buy a manufactured home. That's usually less than half the price. You can get something brand new in my area for around 190,000 move in ready. Since they've been living in the house for a while, maybe they have a few years left on their mortgage. They've got that monthly payment that's holding them back from retirement, but they do still have equity. So when the sale goes through, they have enough money to pay for the manufactured home in cash, allowing them to make that step into retirement. Since the spread between the price of a site built home and the price of a manufactured home is so large, they're able to sell this home up here put the money towards the price of the manufactured home and sometimes even have enough money left over to fund those years between where they are now and when their original retirement plan at 65 or 70, whatever that is, everyone's gonna be different, kicks into place. So you're buying those extra two or three years with the proceeds from your site built house. This concept is very simple and can be broken down into three steps. Step one, sell your current house. Step two, use the funds from the sale of your current home to buy a manufactured home. Step three, use the extra funds from the spread between the price of the two homes to change your daily life, whatever that looks like for you. So if you're sitting there thinking, wow, if this is so simple, why aren't more people doing it? The answer to your question is they are. I deal with people all the time who are doing this exact thing. I actually got an email from a guy just this week who is planning to do this in the next year or two and bonus points for him because he's moving from a more expensive market to my market 
and that's just gonna take his dollar a little bit further. Guys, I love talking about all the situations where manufactured homes are a great housing option. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely subscribe to my channel because you know what? I'm just getting warmed up. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.